there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Today we're back with the Orchard Pig Company. Um, I tried their Reveler before and uh, this is the second of the three um, ciders that I'll be reviewing for them, the other one being the Truffler. But today's Orchard Pig Cider is their Charmer. So will I be charmed off my feet with this one? Well. As usual, we'll find out soon. Until then, let me go and give you the lowdown on Orchard Pig's Charmer. Orchard Pig Charmer is available in these 500ml glass bottles, which I do believe is the only way you can buy it too. The alcohol percentage is 6% ABV, and apparently it's going to be medium in taste. Uh, the price is about average uh, for this sort of cider, coming in around about £1.99. So, yeah, not too bad. I liked the last Orchard Pig Cider, so hopefully I'll like this one as well. So yes, as I've already said, I, um, I've already tried their Reveler, and uh, to be honest, I have tried their Truffler as well, but I just haven't got round to actually buying a bottle and doing a review of it, so you'll have to wait for my opinion on that one later. But for now, we're trying the Charmer, which I have never had before. I got this uh, from my local Waitrose store, um, so I'm glad they actually do stock some proper ciders in there. Um, rooted in Somerset, cider to snout about. More apples, less bubbles. Um, this is one of the things that I love about the Orchard Pig Company. Um, they, they just love putting like little jokes and stuff on the bottles, which just give the bottles a little bit of character, and they just let you you know, draw your eyes to them and they think, oh yeah, I'm going to give that one a go. Um, but obviously it's all in the taste, isn't it? So we'll find out later. On the back it says, bit of a character. Well, there you go. <laughs> this even says it on the back of the bottle. A rich aroma of deep tannins from West Country Cider Apples. A gently sparkling cider with a mellow apple sweetness, a citrus tang and a crisp, refreshing finish. This is gluten-free and suitable for vegans, vegetarians, and fruitarians. Yes, fruitarians are actually a thing, as you probably well know. Um, but sadly, like all the other cider brands that I've seen, fat women still can't drink this cider. I don't know what it is, but cider companies, really, you need to stop generalizing with this. Uh, is that joke getting old yet? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, that is it. Um, for that, it contains sulfites to maintain freshness, as with most other ciders that you can get from our supermarkets and, you know, off store shelves. So let's get the top open and see what I make of it. There we go. There we are. Absolutely no carbonation from the bottle there. It says less bubbles, and it was true. Let's go in for the whiff. Wow, it smells a lot uh, drier than the medium. Um, yeah, very big tannic hit on the nose. Uh, yeah, very nice, um, uh, bittersweet apple aromas. Even getting a slight touch of, um, like, orange zest, um, off the nose, which smells really, really nice. It smells very refreshing indeed. So, let's get this all poured out, shall we? And, uh, well, see what I, uh, make of this Orchard Pig Cider. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good, but we shall see, won't we? There we go. Right, let's go in for the colour. And there you go, well, hardly any carbonation. I'm sorry, I obviously haven't uh, cleaned the glass properly because the bubbles are clinging to the side there. But aside from that, hardly any carbonation at all. You would think that this was actually a still cider, but it looks very, very nice in the glass. Um, quite clear. Uh, very light, actually, um, for like a six percenter, but I mean, that doesn't mean anything at all. Yeah, looks very nice, lovely, uh, lovely colour. Any more smells off the glass? Yeah, still getting those uh, lovely, bittersweet apple aromas. That uh, hint of the orange zest is still there in the glass as well. Mm, just smells really, really nice, so, fingers crossed, it's going to taste as good as that, so... Cheers guys, here's to Orchard Pig's Charmer. Wow, tannins. Blimey, that is a lot of tannins. Wow, let's get a second opinion straight away, wow. Very, um, 
yeah, very bitter sweet initial taste. Um, huge, hefty hit of tannins hit you right off the bat. Your tongue is literally just coated in them, giving it um, a very um, dry, uh, oaky sort of taste behind it. Uh, as it's going down, it sort of mellows out a little bit, becomes a little bit sweeter, and uh, there is still that little bit of uh, a citrus um, note behind it, especially like uh, oranges and stuff. The aftertaste, definitely getting like a smoky, treacly, like black treacle um, aftertaste on this one. Let's get another one. Mmm. Mmm, this is lovely. And you know what? It's just about the right amount of carbonation for this sort of thing. I feel that if it was any more carbonated, then it would probably lose some more of these flavours. Um, but it's left my tongue, like the front of my tongue, feeling very lovely and a uh, nice dry finish. But right at the back, it just feels like it's being really, really refreshed. Um, very, like, juicy. It's almost like, um, they kind of like fighting over what's going to win. Is it going to be, is it going to be juicy? Is it going to be dry? Um, which is what a medium cider should be like. Um, I would say this is probably more on airing on the side of medium dry towards medium sweet. There's definitely a lot more dry action going on in this, um, in this cider, but it's lovely. It's really, really nice. And you know what? It's easily drinkable as well. Um, it's 6%, but you could easily session a few bottles of this, easily. Um, this, this is my, my sort of cider, really. So, well, let's go in for a final taste before a final verdict, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, despite it having the uh, sort of a light texture behind it rather than it being full bodied there is so much going on in this drink as i said you just, you just got the massive hits of the uh, dry oaky tannins at the start which mellow out give a little bit more of a citric taste as it's going down your throat and it just finishes off with both being dry at the front and really nice and refreshing at the back very very good um medium cider that we have here and yeah one that i highly recommend you go out and get a bottle of because this is this is lovely. I'm going to get a bottle of this again, that's for sure. For a final verdict, Orchard Pig's Charmer is going to get a 9 out of 10. My goodness me, just, yeah. If you see this in Waitrose or anywhere, buy it. It's, it's lovely. I really, really like this drink. Can you tell already? Um, I don't think this is going to last long at all. So yeah, well done Orchard Pig. Another, another fantastic um, cider from you guys, and as I said, I have already tried your um, truffler, but not got around to actually reviewing it. But let's just say it's completely different um, to the Charmer, so, you know, there's going to be something for everybody with Orchard Pig. But there we go. That was another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. Hope you liked it, and I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But I don't think it needs to be said, this is not going to last long at all. So, yeah, thank you, Orchard Pig. Keep up the great work. Take care, guys. Until next time.